today we got in contact with a Roblox leaker who told us every single update coming to Roblox in the next three years, including the final update ever. This is probably the saddest video I've ever made. Although there's many good things to talk about inside of this video, it's also very sad to see the path Roblox is going down and about to go down. This is a private Twitter account that no one has access to. Roblox Leaks 2024. Roblox leaks from a former Roblox employee. Do not sue me. This account literally joined today. As you can see, I'm not following the account, but I was able to manage to follow it for literally five minutes, pretending that I was someone who was going to help with the leaks. I screenshotted literally everything because there are so many leaks on this account. It's not even funny. Roblox, if you're watching this, please do not sue me. This is every Roblox leak coming to the platform in the next three years so this is all you have to watch if you love roblox if you love where the platform is right now i have some very bad news for you because the game is about to change completely before i explain the first very big leak let's talk about tickets roblox officially removed ticks short for tickets on april 14th 2016. This was a big change for the platform and its users. Ticks were a form of currency on Roblox, similar to Robux, and Robux is the topic we're about to be talking about, but you could earn them simply by logging in daily or having people visit your games. And Nick Army, if you don't already know about tickets, it was the currency before Robux, then they added Robux too, and then they both had tickets and Robux. Ticks looked like this, and then they got removed almost 10 years ago, but let's just say there's bad news for Robux now. I don't know what Roblox's plans are. I don't know what they're thinking. They're definitely trying to change the platform as more generations of children grow up and more people start playing the game. Exactly 10 years after the removal of ticks, April 14th, 2026, which is exactly the day 10 years later that I was just showing you guys, will be the final days of Robux existing on the Roblox platform. After that, the currency will be called something different with a concept leak looking like this. Now, honestly, Nick Army, I see the reason Roblox is doing this because as of right now, this Robux icon literally looks awful. It literally just looks like a dang cheese it we need something more like the Roblox actual logo, and instead of the stupid Cheez-It, it's going to be a Roblox logo with a coin. It's literally genius. I just can't believe I found all of this stuff, and there's so much more to talk about later. I have some huge news. If you love other video games besides Roblox, and you want more Roblox collaborations, as you can see right now, I am showing the video game Fortnite, and we know that Fortnite, Roblox, they're very different games, but at the same time, they are very similar games although they never used to be before. But all of a sudden, Fortnite started putting out some really crazy updates. They had the new creative, they had Lego Fortnite, all of that, and Roblox ended up starting to take notes. They started doing the hunt, they started doing some really cool things. And because of this, Roblox and Fortnite, the two biggest games probably of all time, ended up becoming competitors. But it turns out these competing companies don't want to compete. They want to help each other. Roblox is planning a collaboration with the video game Fortnite, which is why Fortnite is putting out similar updates and new content as Roblox. There will be a bacon hair skin on Fortnite and a Roblox portal on the Chapter 6 Fortnite map. We don't know much further info besides that. Now, right now in Fortnite, it's Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2. Chapter 6 will probably come out next year. So that means before they remove Robux and all of that, they're going to put out probably the best collaboration literally of all time. Fortnite x Roblox. Comment down below if you're excited. The most insane thing possible happened last week, and this is going to relate to Roblox. Florida's governor last week signed into law a ban that would keep kids 13 and under from joining social media. It's set to take effect next January and would also require a parent's consent for a 14 or 15 year old to hold a social media account. Now here is the thing, you're probably reading this and you're happy that maybe you don't live in Florida or maybe you do live in Florida and you're sad that you're below the age of 14, 15, 13 and you're worried about this, but is Roblox social Social media what is going to be happening i got some really bad news i probably wasn't supposed to see this as part of aging up the platform and new government guidelines roblox will no longer be allowed if you're below the age of 13 worldwide 
Starting January 1st, 2025, they will require photo ID and proof of age. Now, here's the insane thing about this. This makes a lot of sense because we saw the new Roblox update from a few months ago. Roblox aims to host 17 plus dating experiences in the next few years. For verified 17 plus people and 17 plus experiences, thousands of adults will meet for the first time in Roblox dating experiences and subsequently form real life relationships. I mean, that by itself just tells me that Roblox is trying to age up the platform and it seems like they just want Roblox to be an adult only game now and they don't want kids playing anymore. Now, on top of everything we've already heard, there are so many other things that Roblox has removed over the years. Ticks we already talked about, now they're gonna remove Robux, guests they removed, and we're gonna be talking about that later in the video, player points, Builders Club, Turbo Builders Club, Outrageous Builders Club, and also the oof sound. We all know about the oof sound. It just was removed last year. Maybe it was actually 2022? Was it that long ago? But basically, if you guys don't already know about the oof sound, every single time, wait, what does this guy say? Nick, I can get the oof sound back. I'm a hacker. Well, Based on that, I don't even think we need this hacker because, ladies and gentlemen, when I reset my character, as you can see, there's the oof sound right there. And it's been gone from the game for literally so, so long. Only this game has it and a few others. But basically, there was a copyright issue. Roblox actually didn't own the copyright to the oof sound. They added the oof sound to the game in like 2006. And then the original copyright owner got extremely mad and said, listen, Roblox, you got to pay for this or you just got to get rid of it. And they didn't even ask for that much money. But Roblox just said, I don't want to have it anymore. I'm done. I'm removing it until now. Good news. The oof sound will finally be making a return next month. Roblox has decided to pay the original copyright owner. That is the biggest news I have ever heard. There's still so much more to talk about. This is the craziest one, and I think you guys are going to be very upset before talking about even crazier ones. Due to inflation and rising prices in the economy, Roblox Premium will now start at $20. There will be three categories similar to Builders Club. Premium, Turbo Premium, and Outrageous Premium. This should release publicly on June 4th, 2024, which isn't even that far away. Now, if you're kind of confused about the three categories of premium, if you only have normal premium right now, I'm about to explain everything because this, if you didn't already know, actually has been done before. This is what Roblox membership used to look like. Builders Club, Turbo Builders Club, and Outrageous Builders Club. You could buy it in a span of three months, three months, three months. You could also get lifetime six months you would get 15 daily robux for having builders club 35 daily robux for having turbo builders club and 60 daily robux for having outrageous builders club now premium is going to be the exact same thing except it's not going to be 5.99 for one month normal premium is going to start at 20 dollars and i think turbo premium is going to start at 30 and outrageous is going to start at 40 it's just it's so sad to see because the roblox community loves roblox and it just, I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised Roblox is doing all this. It is no secret that to afford the most expensive Roblox items in the world, you need a ton of Robux. I mean, there's items out there worth 999 million Robux. Like this, how on earth would anyone be able to afford this? I mean, I have 254,000 Robux on this game and I have 10 millions of Robux worth of limited items, but I've been playing since 2008 and I can't even come close to affording this. Well, what if I told you something really really, really weird is going on. We all know that Roblox Dominus is the official ones made by Roblox themselves are some of the most expensive items ever. And what if I told you you can get the official Dominus is now for basically free? And I'm not just talking UGC remakes. This is a Dominus that's literally worth a million Robux that you can get for practically free. This must be some sort of glitch. It must be some sort of weird thing happening. But look at this. I am on the Dominus Vespertilo 
out right now and the recent average price is 1.24 million robux i'm on it and it's literally a thousand robux i've been refreshing all morning long 1000 1111 1234 1824 and then the next one is literally six million robux and every single time i refresh this page i don't know how i don't know why it's always a super low price so i don't know if it's some april fools joke by roblox or something like it but anyone can get a 1 million robux dominus for practically free now the final thing that we have to talk about is you all just got april fooled this entire video was a lie